Recently, I reviewed two foundations that I think are very similar, very similar in the way they feel and the way they look on the skin. So today, I'm gonna put it to the test and I'm gonna try them side by side. On this side, we're gonna have a very expensive uh, foundation. One of, I think it's the most expensive one in my collection. And this is Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Foundation. And on this side, we are going to put Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. So if you're interested to see how these two compare to each other, go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, so one, it is a little bit newer, the Skin Fetish one from uh, Fenty Beauty, it is newer, but Pat McGrath had this foundation I think for two years now, and on Sephora's website they have 1.7k reviews and it has four stars, and this is what it promises. It's a long wearing customizable foundation that builds from sheer uh, to medium coverage in a wide range of universal hues that manifest the ultimate sublime skin standard. It says the coverage is medium, the finish is natural, the formulation is liquid. Um, it says that it is a Vita Serum Complex moisturizer that helps fight the appearance of wrinkles while Diamond Core Powder Technology enhances skin textures and helps smooth and blur the appearance of fine lines, pores and imperfections. It says the Silky Weightless Foundation imparts a filtered soft focus luminosity and it is suitable for a uh, normal dry combination and oily so basically for all skin types so these are the claims on this one i have tested this one and i did a wear test i'm gonna put i'm gonna link that video up here for you if you want to go ahead and look at it if you're curious now let's see what fenty says all right so this one only has 186 reviews as i said this is a very new product and it has four and a half five, uh, has four and a half stars and it says it's a lightweight buildable light to medium coverage skin tint that leaves skin looking blurred and smooth in flexible shades for all it says this is an easy to apply flexible skin tint it quickly and visibly evens out your complexion with a blurred effect the hydroblind complex humidity sweat transfer resistant formula has a smooth texture that layers well with primer and skincare and I also did a full review on this one alone. If you want to go and check that out, I'm going to link it up here. Now for this review, I want to use this little primer. This is a primer that I absolutely love and tried and used so many times. Both of these foundation I've tried with different primers before. So this is going to be completely different. We're going to see if it's going to go well with this primer. But also we're going to see how it's going to look on top of this. And how they're going to be looking uh, close to next to each other. It's, it's exciting. So let's put this one. This is from Ulta Beauty for Les Best Pro Face Primer. And this smooths and refines pores. If you like beauty videos, or if you like review videos, or mystery boxes, unboxing videos, please go ahead and click that subscribe button right there and also that bell button because it's going to notify you every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for your time and don't forget to also give it a thumbs up. Now let's get with the review. I am going to start with Pat McGrath first. The the way they feel, because I'm going to put them on my hand and just kind of try to see how it feels. Um, I'm going to do just a little tiny bit right there because they look very, very similar. I'm going to show you they're going to be right next to each other. 
right they're both liquid but they look very very similar on the hand the Fenty one I think it has more a little it's just a tiny bit darker than uh, than the Pat McGrath one so I'm gonna take that and just throw it on my face so let's see how much this can do that was teeny tiny little bit This one they say you can use your finger or you can use a brush but I am going to use uh, my finger for both of them so I'm applying a little bit more. So as you can see you have to build a little bit the coverage with this one but it's not too bad. I mean, for the amount that I put on, it's really not that bad. And it's okay, because I do have a little bit of redness on both sides, so you can see that and break out. So this one does settle down very quickly. Um, it does feel like you have a little bit of something on your skin, but it doesn't necessarily feel like um, tacky but you do get a little bit of a feeling that you have something on your skin and it dries down really 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 fast all right so this is how that one looks like looks pretty good I like the way it looks I like the way it feels it is really nice but also it's a very expensive foundation now let's go with this other one. I still have a little bit on my hand, but I don't want to apply even more. So I'm gonna clean that up first. All right, now it's time for this one. This is how much I have on. So the way it feels, I feel like this one feels a little bit more moisturizing, um, the Fenty Beauty one. And I also feel like this one has a little bit more of a blurring effect. kind of surprising because back when I tried the um, foundation from Pat McGrath I did have to apply a lot but that was because I had I was trying to do it with a brush and I think the best way to go about both of these is just kind of go with your fingers because it's gonna save you a lot of product all right, so here it is. Let me have my my uh, mirror and have a look at it. Bring this on a little bit more. Yeah, so like I was saying, the Pat McGrath one dries down really, really fast. While this one, it feels pretty still moisturizing on the skin. You know what I mean? Like it gives you a little bit of like refreshness to your skin while the Pat McGrath one has a little bit more of a drying like faster absorbing effect but both of them are looking pretty dang good I really like the coverage on both of them I really do like how the Fenty Beauty one is but also Pat McGrath is looking really really beautiful like it's not a huge difference between them i gotta say like the way they look on my skin it's not a really big difference between them very nice both of them i would say that fenty offers you a little bit more coverage but you can build up this area too if you want to add just a little bit more product you can totally do that and build it up to that intensity. I really like it. I really like 
both of them. I'm gonna go really quickly add all my products that I usually do uh, on my face and see how they work out and I'm coming back to show you how everything looks. Alright guys, so I'm back to see how this looks like. So here is, yeah I do have some facial hair over here, but here's the side of um, Pat McGrath and here's Fenty, okay? So here's how it looks like. I applied the same, uh, just a tiny bit of powder. I applied like hourglass powder on top of it, the veil one. How everything looks like on my face. I have to say that I feel like this side looks a little bit more plump and a little bit more moisturized. This one looks a little, just a tiny bit more drying. And I did not apply a lot of powder because I did not want it to have a lot of powder on my face when I try this too um, because I don't feel like you need powder to set them down uh, to be honest with you I feel like if you have dry skin you definitely don't need any powder to set this out or if you have more like a like a, a normal skin the same thing I don't think you need to set this down but for me having an oily skin I know in two or three hours it's gonna be a hot mess if I don't apply a little bit of powder on top I went with the softest powder and the one that doesn't looks cakey or doesn't looks um, powdery at all which is the like I said the one veiled translucent setting powder from hourglass and right now i do like how both of them look like but to be honest with you i think i prefer the fenty one a little bit more because it has a little bit like it looks like it's a little bit more moisturized on this side while this side is a little bit more dry but maybe later that thing can change because probably this is gonna look a little bit better on me later than this side so I don't know we're gonna come back I am gonna come back and I'm gonna uh, let you know how I feel about it right now I mean I finished applying this I have finished applying this uh, powders and everything around 2 p.m. and I'm gonna come back and let you know how I feel I, I'm not gonna wear it a very long time I think I'm just gonna wear it maybe six hours but in those six hours we're gonna be able to discover how both of these sides are gonna wear down and which one is better is it gonna be Fenty or is it gonna be Pat McGrath which one is gonna be well stay tuned to find out All right, so here we are checking in three hours and a half later. This is the area with the Fenty Beauty one. As you can see, it looks still looks pretty dang gorgeous and beautiful. And this is the side with um, Pat McGrath. As you can see, I get a whole lot of, uh, what is it, a lot of texture showing up on this side. Like I said, I do have some facial hair over there. Uh, but yeah, this one looks a little bit worse than this one. I'm not sure if necessarily the primer, that could be another problem, the primer making it not working very well with that foundation but this is how Fenty Beauty looks like for now I still maintain that more of a hydration type of look this one it gets drier and drier as we go so I'm not sure if it's gonna go at some point it's gonna look a little bit better we shall see I do have a lot of breakouts on my face so you are able to see most of it but yeah I'm gonna have to see I'm gonna have to keep checking on this and see which one is better but for now I like Fenty better damn much better
you know what I mean? Alright, so I will check back with you in about three hours or so. so Alright, so it's time for the last check-in. It is crazy because I really thought I'm not gonna be wearing this makeup for this long, but in the middle of the day, my husband and I were like, we need to go and see a movie. We have not been to see a movie in a very long time. More than a year, yes. Um, and uh, the theaters have been open for over a month now. So we decided, why not? Let's just go and see a movie. We went to see nobody. Um, there were like, I don't know, maybe five people five or six people in the entire room, theater room so we were good but we did I did wear a mask for two hours and something and this is how my makeup looks like I am surprised that the mask did not took this foundation off of my face is still there of course, I'm a little bit oily because I had this foundation, uh, both of these foundations on for more than nine hours. So let's have a look. This is the Fenty side. What do you guys think? It still looks pretty damn good. Like, it looks very nice. I do have more of an oily, oily forehead and the nose. And this is the side from uh, Pat McGrath. I would say that Pat McGrath, I like it now. It looks a little bit better. And like I said, I think Pat McGrath, you have to use um, more of a hydrating or more of a... I think the best, the best um, primer to use with Pat McGrath could be the, the Hydro Grip from uh, Milk. I think that's also like it grips but also it's hydrating so I think that would be amazing under this but with the pore filling one that I had it's not necessarily the best one while the Fenty one is thriving on that one so as you can see it's still looking pretty good nine hours later to have such a good look on my face after wearing um face max face mask for two hours eating popcorn and stuff like that it's still pretty pretty interesting and i do like it yes i did took my uh falsies off because let me tell you they were goddamn heavy on my eyes i don't like wearing falsies but i thought you know today why not but yeah here's the final look i would say I am impressed by both of them. I would say I like both of them, but I have to say comparing today and how these two looks like on my face all day, I can totally say that Fenty Ease Drop Skin Tint, it is a dupe for Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundation. Definitely a dupe if you don't have the money to buy the skin fetish one go ahead and try the try the fenty beauty one because it's gonna be the exact ex exact same effect thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here and i truly appreciate you checking this video out if you want to watch some more here's some more thank you so much for watching bye